Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this video. I'm honestly feeling a little bit nervous too. I don't know why, but the nerves are there. I feel like it's just because I've obviously never decorated an entire house for Christmas before. Like it just feels like such a big undertaking, very overwhelming. And we have come a long way because it was just a few years ago. I almost didn't decorate my apartment at all for Christmas just because I don't know, I was just a little bit more concerned financially. I just didn't want to spend that kind of money. And this year, guys, like we're we're fully sending it. Like I really want to transform this place into just like a Christmas wonderland. I am so excited. I'm actually decorating a little earlier this year just because we are going to Mexico next week. So I want us to come back from Mexico and not have to really do much. Like I just want to come back to a Christmas wonderland. So I am very excited. You can actually, uh, you can kind of see a little bit. We need to get rid of fall first though. So step number one, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning, get a fresh canvas, put all of our fall stuff into storage. And then from there, we can discuss the color palette. I'm leaning in a certain direction, but I don't know. So we'll see. office where we can do some scheming for the color palette but can I just say by the way I always underestimate just how much time it'll take me to clean like I don't know what I was thinking I was like oh, I'll just you know knock this out in like 30 minutes no that never happens I just spent an hour and a half simply on the living room and the kitchen and like we keep the house so clean and that's why I feel like it'll never take a lot of time but dust it's unstoppable, like there's just no stopping the dust. So I'm a little behind on my day, but that is okay. I am about to start planning out my color palette. I don't want to be too set in my ways before going to the stores because I wanna see what the stores have. I wanna see what looks good in person. So I don't wanna to get too plan-y right here, but just looking at Pinterest, a couple of things that caught my eye and could be good ideas for you guys. I thought the silver and green is so pretty, so classy, especially in our house, green has been a staple color, but and then that's also why I might lean toward not putting that much green in, because obviously I'll have the greenery, I'll have the tree. So maybe I'll actually stay away from that. I also came across this rainbow tree. I am so tempted to create that. Like I am obsessed with rainbow and color. I just always have been. One of my favorites has just been the gold, like gold and white. And I think it's just so pretty and just classy with just gold and white, like so neutral, like that's so pretty. But like I said, I really do like color, so I don't think I'll be able to resist not putting in some color. And I think adding some red looks so good and just like very clean. Like I want it to be very clean, but also fun. Like I don't want it to just be so like uh, stuffy and uptight. Like I want to wake up every day and be happy. I'm putting a lot of uh, pressure on this Christmas decorating thing. Maybe that's why I'm nervous. And of course for the outfit, I've got my pops of red. You guys would have already seen the lips. We've also got some nice red heels from DSW. And before I head out, I want to take inventory of what I already have decorations wise, which you guys will see. It is virtually nothing. All right, so this is the extent of it. When I lived in an apartment, I was very minimal with my decor. And then I haven't even shown you guys, although I guess it's really not much as of now, but I did order a tree. I went the fake route, which was a no brainer for me as a reporter. I covered a number of house fires that started with real Christmas trees. Nothing against them. I grew up every year, we got a real tree. I loved it, but I don't trust myself to water it all the time because that's what creates the fire. It becomes dry and bad things happen. So we're doing the fake tree. I will show you that later on in the vlog. And I, I hope, I mean, I just saw the pictures online. I saw the reviews, it looked good. We'll see, fingers crossed, because honestly the tree is like the star of the show. My first stop is Home Goods for a very important reason. 
We've got gift cards. I am so excited. Shout out to my mother and shout out to Carly who got me home goods gift cards for my birthday this year. Well, technically, I guess you could use them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, Sierra. No, we're going to home goods. I'm so freaking excited. I have not been here since they put out their Christmas stuff and it's just, it's going to be dangerous. I really need to like collect myself and, you know, not go too crazy, but at the same time, we have gift cards, so like it's okay, right? I wanted to give you guys a tip if you are on a budget, because I have so been there, stay away from all of the knickknack items. And I know I'm contradicting myself because I am actually going for these this year, but in the past, I mean, $6 here, $7 there, it adds up to $100 real fast. And let's face it, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Like it doesn't make that big of an impact in your home compared to say the Christmas tree. That's where you should really focus your money if you're not trying to spend a lot. Stop number one was very successful, a little too successful. I seriously bought so much stuff, guys. Oh my gosh. And now I'm about to go into at home. I wasn't sure how I would feel when I saw everything in person, but I definitely think I am steering away from like traditional red and green. Like I want my main thing to be gold and white with pops of red. I'm also running into the issue where I just love everything sparkly. Like it just looks so pretty, but obviously it's so messy. So I'm trying to like be reasonable with the amount of sparkles I get. someone who struggles to make any decision in my everyday life, like even just the smallest thing, this is a nightmare for me because I have just been comparing these two stockings for like the last five minutes. It's really not that serious and I don't even know if I like either of them. And the longer I stare at them, they all just look like weird socks. I mean, that I guess is essentially what they are, but like, I, I hate them. Like, I, I hate stockings right now. Like, it's disgusting. I have problems, I know. Oh my gosh. All right. At home was another ravishing success. Surprise, surprise. And I have just one more spot I want to hit up while I'm in this area. I have to check out Target just to see what they have. And honestly, my brain feels like it's going to explode. Like just making this many decisions is, it's just not for me. This lifestyle is not for me. I just need someone to tell me what to do. Like that's why I go to workout classes, for example. Like tell me to do the push up. I'll do the push up. Will I do it on my own? No. And the same thing, like, I wish someone was behind me saying, like, buy that, don't buy that. That would look good. That would look awful. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go to Target. Target was honestly kind of a dud. I only got one thing from there, but it's safe to say everything else was very successful. I feel like I got a lot of, like, knick-knacky kind of things, and the reason is... I, I really don't think I'm qualified for this, but I think I'm gonna try to tackle the bookcase because obviously this is like a very summer setup. This is like my first setup ever. Don't judge me. I'm really not good when it comes to designing bookshelves. It's hard though, like it's really hard, but I really want to bring Christmas to the bookshelves and that's where like a lot of just random purchases I made came into play. Like one of these things I thought could look cute. That was from at home, but we'll start with home goods thought this might look nice and I'm keeping all the receipts because if something doesn't fit I'm just gonna return it but like cute and like I said gold white and then pops of red that's the goal I thought this was the cutest candle ever it has like these little you see guys I'm really obsessed with like these little trees and it smelled good I got two of these I love red and gold together it's just so pretty for my tree topper I'm thinking a nice big gold star I realized in my kitchen one of the biggest eyesores even when I'm filming it's the dish soap and the hand soap like they just look so ugly always so I thought we well, could get a little festive these sparkles are actually getting everywhere but how cute is this like a little snowman and then the gold so one of these could be for the soap one of these could be for the dish soap I just think it's so cute the sun is like attacking me right now i thought this could be like a cute little something something oh when i was checking out i just thought this christmas mug like how could i not i need a christmas mug honestly i plan on getting many mugs but this is one of them this is definitely a questionable purchase but i i have ideas <laughs> a little bit of this 
Another one of these things I cannot resist. Another good thing for the bookcase. Gold nutcracker. I might try to put this wreath somewhere inside. It's just so beautiful. But if it doesn't work somewhere inside, like in our kitchen, obviously I could just put this on our front door. I'm really struggling with this on. We're almost done. I got these cute little bath towels. Christmas coasters. These were only six bucks for four of them. And I ended up getting all of my ornaments at at home. They have a ton really good deals. I ended up going with gold. More than this though, I got that gold, but I really like this color gold. It's like a, almost like a, a more toned down version. So I have a bunch of these. These are like huge ornaments. I have a bunch of whites. We're gonna save all of that for tomorrow. And tomorrow is when I'm gonna begin decorating as well. So if I thought today was hard picking everything out, putting everything together tomorrow is gonna be a process. You guys want to know how much of a loser I am? I literally could not sleep this morning because I'm so excited about the idea of decorating for Christmas. I'm not kidding. I, you guys know, have this thing where if I am anxious or super excited, I literally can't, I just won't sleep. Like that's just the first thing that goes. Same thing happened when we were trying to buy this house, like literally did not sleep that month. And this morning I just, my eyes were just wide open at 3.30 and I'm like, let's go. I haven't been decorating this morning. I've just been doing computer work, went to the gym, got ready obviously. And now don't judge me, but we're actually about to do more shopping. There are just a couple of key items on my list that I still need to get. And I just, I have to go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Like I just need to see what they have. <laughs> I'm seriously obsessed. And I also really like this outfit. It's super neutral, skirt is from Abercrombie, top and boots are from Lulu's. And then I figured we could tie in the red with this Sam Edelman coat. Cute. Now let's go do some shopping. It is most definitely a two cups of coffee kind of morning. A headache is kind of setting in from my lack of sleep last night. I'm running on like three hours, but also I'm running on holiday cheer. And oh my gosh, this sun. As for this morning's adventure, it was definitely very successful. I say that with a question mark because I don't know what is successful at this point and what is just overboard. Like I need to stop. But I have to say, if you're still doing all of your shopping, Michael's had some of the most beautiful pieces. I was not expecting that. And Home Depot had really great deals on just like basics. Like I picked up, well actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the rest be a little surprise. And I just need to like start tackling this. Like I just need to start putting things up and seeing where it goes because right now I just, I'm so lost. Like I don't have a game plan and like I just need to like, let's just, let's just do something. <laughs> Zach is on tree duty and that is the most noble task of all as he did. Also, I was cheap. I decided to get not, like it doesn't come with lights because I wanted us to string our own so that we don't have to throw out our tree in two years when it blows, you know? So we are being, I was about to say we are being economically responsible and then I look around. Yeah, you're uh, really pinching the pennies right now it looks like. <laughs> I feel like I have barely spoken to you guys today, but we have just been in full on decorating mode. And the most frustrating thing, I feel like I spent an hour doing something 
and it looks like it took one minute to do. Like for example, this staircase, which I'm not done with, I decided to, oh wow, that's weird. It's like blinking on camera. It's not blinking in real life. I have no idea why they, what the heck? That is so weird. My camera is making the lights blink. Wow. I'm about to Google why that is, but it's not blinking in real life. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn them off for now just cause that's annoying. But yeah, I just basically decided to get plain garland and then I added in my own lights, which it's just so time consuming zip tying it and I'm not even done with all of it. And I still need to like cut the wires. It's just like a whole process. We've got some cute little pine cones and then I'm still playing with the bookshelves. I really like the way this one looks. I haven't even swapped out the top, but I kind of, I'm just playing with it all. It's, it's all a journey. And then as for the tree location, that is the next debate. A lot of people on Instagram are telling me to put it just right in front of the windows and then swap out the couches. But the biggest problem with that is then we lose out on all of this natural light because the tree is kind of big. It's like a nine foot. I got it from Balsam Hill on huge discount. So far, it looks so good. Zach has thrown in the towel for the day. He's been at it for hours, but yeah, like so far, I am so impressed. I can link the exact one I got below. I think I paid like $600 for it. And then I personally got the unlit ones so that I, we could just string on our own lights and I can hopefully keep this for like ever. Like that's the goal. I don't wanna have to just throw it out in two, three years because like, oh, the bulbs blew out or whatever. Like this is an investment. I purposely went for like a well-known brand and so far, like it looks so good. So I'm very excited. I'm just obviously still playing around with this as well. And then we're debating putting the tree here. I don't know, a lot of decisions to be made. I really like what's going on so far in the kitchen. The wreath looks so freaking good. Like I am obsessed with that. And then I don't know how I feel about this. This is just what I had left over from last or two years ago, so. We'll see. It's definitely all a process, but that's what makes it so fun. Kind of just like mixing and matching, playing with different ideas, even though most of them are not the most. And I think we've decided we are going to throw in the towel for today. It's like 5 p.m., figure out what we're doing for dinner and then get right back at it tomorrow, whether we want to or not. Welcome to day three of decorating for Christmas. I so recommend doing it like spread out in days because last night when I went to sleep, I came up with a little idea because the garland on the stairs just wasn't sitting right with me. It just looked so plain. It just felt like something was missing. And then I thought, what if we added some red bows that I actually saw at Dollar Tree the other day and I ended up going back this morning. They do have a really good selection, by the way, like 10 out of 10 recommend going to Dollar Tree if you're trying to decorate for Christmas on a budget. But yeah, I got these bows that I'm gonna finish up. Like I just did three because I had to run out the door. I was doing some volunteer work this morning, went to the gym, all that stuff. And then I actually put together these like ornament clusters. I also have another cluster over here that I've been working on. I just picked up these ornaments at the Dollar Tree. All I do is take this floral, what's it called? Like floral wire. I cut a piece that's about this big. I string four of these ornaments onto the wire. Obviously I went with gold, but you could do any colors you want. And then once they're all together, they kind of like just form this like really pretty cluster. And then I can zoom into this one to show you. Obviously you could see the, uh, the floral wire up close. From far away, you can't see it at all. And then this is just like an extra piece. I don't even I don't even think it's picking up on camera. There we go, you can see it there that I just trimmed so that you can't see anything. And I have a feeling it's gonna look so good. I feel like it just adds a little something. And when I was looking in the stores, the garland that's pre-decorated and all decked out is so expensive. And considering I used, I ended up using 100 feet of garland to cover all of this. I ended up doubling it because the garland was pretty thin. But yeah, I mean the actual garland for like a hundred feet was, I don't know, 30 bucks. Like it wasn't expensive at all at Home Depot and it's coming together.
All right, so we're in the middle of decorating the tree. It's looking really good so far, but I just got an exciting package that actually might be a disappointing package. So obviously I really, really wanted to make a nice little wow statement with the mantle over the fireplace. And I wanted some sort of garland ordered on Amazon. Just the way the package came, it just is not giving. So we're gonna see, give it a try. Crossing my fingers, but not very hopeful. I was just on the phone with my father. Uh, I think we may go to the Bengals game this weekend. And I just hear, Zach. And not that I ignore Clancy ever. I just didn't know what she needed. And uh, I came out to find. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. This so that's in two pieces. trees, yeah, that. I kicked it, like it was falling. It's so freaking heavy, it's falling. And I have a habit, if I drop my phone in order to break the fall, I don't wanna break my phone, I, I kick it. So I freaking did that. And I'm like, holy crap. And then I like hobbled over here and then my sock, I just look, look down and it just starts becoming like more and more red. Like the blood was like, which is the least of our concerns. I'm very nervous that it's broken because it's vibrating and in the past when I've broken bones, they, it vibrates. So I'm really worried, but we're not gonna show my, obviously let's not show it, but it's like graphic, it's disgusting right now. It immediately like blew up at the sight of the thing and it's already black and blue and it's not good. So we'll have to see uh, how, how this turns out. We'll say this, Clancy's a little dramatic sometimes, but let's very much hope she doesn't have a broken foot. Yeah, we'll say this. Like, I, I don't think she does. Can I just say, I wasn't even dramatic. I waited for you to get off the phone with your dad, and then I was just like, Zach. Uh, what was I thinking? She was never dramatic. Zach, I knew <laughs> Zach is currently clipping my nails in case we have to go to an urgent care because I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> What? Zach, that hurt. What'd you do? Uh, try to get the claw. What? Don't do skin. I th I'm done with this. Zach, I got the big honk and done. <laughs> the rest you can't even see. Zach. What? I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, like it's not that bad. Do you want them to know your wife has gross feet? Compared to this, sure. What? I said, if it's just the doctor versus me. Hi guys, as you could probably tell, it is quite a bit later. I am vlogging on my phone because my camera is all the way over there and I have not yet gotten up since the injury because it just does not feel good. We'll see, we're gonna, we're gonna persevere. Zach is currently helping out a lot, just like cleaning everything up because I want to get finishing shots for you guys. Of course this would happen, but no, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all good, it is all good. Without further ado, here is the, okay, it's, it's the it's the finished product slash, obviously throughout the vlogs, throughout the next couple of months, like month and a half, we're gonna add some things, we're gonna do some stuff. Like I'm very excited, because I have a lot of ideas that came from um, doing this. Although one thing I will tell you, don't do, don't put these stupid ceramic things on a mantle. Don't do it, but anyway, without further ado, here, is the finished product. next day I just wanted to provide a little update that I am indeed alive I don't think my foot is broken I've been hobbling around all day it doesn't feel great but at least I can put weight on it like yesterday I was sure like oh my gosh this is this is done it's over like I'm a very dramatic person in case you haven't uh, figured that one out but 
I think we're gonna be okay. I also did want to hammer home the fact that this is not what Christmas is about. This was a fun video I made. This was a fun little activity. I really enjoy this kind of thing, but how much money you spend on decorations or how many decorations you put up does not equate to how good of a Christmas you have at all. This is my first year where I kind of went more all out where I'm like, I really want my, you know, living room to have little knickknacks. And then, you know, I did the garland and the light and the tree and it was my first year doing it and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful I did. But three years ago when I really only just had a, a pencil tray up in my apartment, that was it as far as decorations, it was still amazing. Like I had such a cozy apartment that I loved coming home to. It wasn't much, but it was awesome. And so I just wanna make that so clear because I feel like you can watch these videos and be like, oh my gosh, like I have to spend all this money. You do not. And obviously this is not what Christmas is about. But anyway, I had a lot of fun making this video even with the foot mishap. And I'm so excited for my Christmas vlogs, like just, just the coziness of the Christmas vlog. So stay tuned for those and stay tuned for my honeymoon vlog because I'm gonna be leaving for my honeymoon in just a couple of days. So yeah, with that being said, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.